Three countries, Japan, the United Kingdom, and Italy, are joining forces in a groundbreaking partnership that could reshape the future of military aviation. Together, they're embarking on an ambitious mission to build one of the world's most advanced fighter jets, blending their unique technological strengths and military expertise. For decades, the United States has dominated the fighter jet market, setting the standard for cutting-edge combat aircraft. But now, this new alliance is poised to challenge that dominance and disrupt the established order. Japan's decision to partner with European nations marks a major shift in its defense strategy, signaling a desire for greater autonomy and a move to reduce its reliance on American technology and support. For the UK and Italy, this collaboration is a rare opportunity to secure their place as leaders in aerospace engineering and to showcase their innovation on a global stage. All three nations face the urgent need to replace aging fighter fleets. Rather than buying off-the-shelf solutions, they're choosing to invest in a sixth-generation jet designed from the ground up to meet the challenges of tomorrow's battlefields. This isn't just about building new hardware. It's a strategic move to assert technological and military independence and to shape the future of aerial combat on their own terms. The Global Combat Air Program, or GCCAP, is their answer to rising global tensions, rapid technological change, and the growing need for a decisive edge in the skies. By pooling resources, sharing expertise, and uniting their visions, these nations aim to create a fighter jet tailored to their future needs, one that can adapt to evolving threats and new missions. GCAP is more than just a military project, it's a bold statement of intent, a bid to reshape the global market for high-tech military aircraft, and a symbol of international ambition. This partnership signals the dawn of a new era in international defense cooperation, where shared goals and mutual trust drive innovation. The stage is set for a new chapter in aerial warfare, one defined by collaboration, cutting-edge technology, and a shared vision for the future of flight. GCAP is the official name for this ambitious trilateral project to develop a next-generation stealth fighter. Announced in December 2022, it merges the UK's Tempest and Japan's FX programs, combining resources for greater efficiency. The goal have a cutting-edge fighter in service by 2035, just as current fleets become obsolete. With China and Russia advancing their own fighters, GCAP is a proactive step to maintain air superiority. For Japan, it's a historic break from exclusive US partnerships, signaling a desire for more autonomy. For the UK and Italy, it's about sustaining high-tech jobs and keeping their aerospace industries globally competitive. GCAP isn't just a jet, it's a system of systems, designed to be adaptable, upgradable, and integrated with other military assets. This forward-thinking approach ensures the aircraft stays relevant against future threats. The partners are building not just a replacement but a platform for decades of innovation. The GSCAP fighter is designed as a flying command center, packed with futuristic tech and built to dominate tomorrow's skies. It's not just about speed or firepower, this jet is a leap forward in how air combat is fought and won. Advanced stealth will make it nearly invisible to enemy radar giving pilots a critical edge, its unique shape and special coatings help it slip through hostile airspace undetected, allowing it to strike or gather intelligence where others can't. Its powerful sensors and onboard AI will process vast amounts of data, acting as a digital co-pilot to help pilots make split-second decisions. The jet can identify threats, suggest tactics, and even automate some responses, reducing pilot workload in the heat of battle. The jet will control swarms of unmanned drones, scouting, jamming, or attacking, multiplying its battlefield impact. These drones can be sent ahead to gather intel, disrupt enemy defenses, or even carry out coordinated strikes. This keeps pilots safer and extends the jet's reach, allowing missions to be carried out in dangerous environments without risking human lives. Open architecture means easy upgrades. New sensors, weapons, or software can be added like apps on a smartphone. This modular approach ensures the jet can quickly adapt to new challenges. This flexibility ensures the GCCAP fighter won't become obsolete as technology evolves. It's built to grow and improve over decades of service. The fusion of human and machine intelligence is a hallmark of sixth-generation design, creating a partnership where each enhances the other's strengths. The result, a jet that adapts to new threats and missions, staying ahead of adversaries and ready for whatever the future brings. GC App is redefining what a fighter jet can be.
setting new standards for innovation, survivability, and power. It's not just a plane, it's the future of air combat and a glimpse at the next era of aerial warfare. The American F-35 has long dominated the advanced fighter jet market, tying buyers to U.S. technology and rules. GCAP is the first serious challenge to this dominance, offering nations full control over their aircraft. Unlike the F-35, GCCAP partners will own the intellectual property and source code, allowing upgrades and exports on their own terms. This independence is a game-changer for countries seeking top-tier fighters without U.S. restrictions. If successful, GCCAP will give buyers a real alternative, spurring competition and innovation across the industry. For the U.S. it's both a point of pride and a warning. Allies are stepping up and the market is shifting. The emergence of GCAP signals a more multipolar world, even among friends. The global fighter jet landscape is about to get a lot more competitive. 2025 has been a pivotal year for GCAP's organization and momentum. The launch of Edgewing, a joint venture uniting BAE Systems, Leonardo, and Japan's JAIEC, marks the industrial heart of the program. The GCAP International Government Organization, or JIGO, opened its headquarters in the UK, streamlining government collaboration. By aligning industry and government, the partners aim to avoid the delays that have plagued past multinational projects. High-level political support remains strong, with defense ministers reaffirming their commitment and ambitious schedule. The next milestone signing the first major contract between GIGO and Edgewing, unlocking funding and starting detailed design. With structures in place, GC App is moving from concept to reality. The journey from blueprint to flying hardware is officially underway. GC App's timeline is ambitious. A new fighter in service by 2035. The first big test will be a technology demonstrator flight, expected between 2027 and 2028. But collaboration across three nations brings challenges. Sharing technology, work, and intellectual property requires deep trust. Recent tensions, especially over tech sharing, highlight the need for unity and fair distribution. The risk of delays and cost overruns looms large, as history has shown with similar projects. Japan, facing an aging fleet and regional threats, is especially eager to avoid setbacks. There's also interest from countries like Saudi Arabia, but the founding trio is wisely focusing on solidifying their partnership first. No new members will be considered until after the first contract is signed, ensuring stability. Balancing expansion with cohesion is a delicate act. Overcoming these hurdles is crucial for GCCAP's success. GCAP is more than just an industrial project. It represents a profound geopolitical shift that could reshape the balance of power in the skies for decades to come. If successful, GCAP will create a new pillar of aerospace power outside the traditional giants of the US, Russia, and China, giving rise to a fresh center of influence in global defense. For Japan, the UK, and Italy, this project is about more than just building a fighter jet. It's about achieving technological sovereignty, securing freedom of action, and ensuring their voices are heard on the world stage. The economic impact is enormous, promising tens of thousands of high-tech jobs, revitalized industries, and billions in investment that will ripple through local economies and supply chains. GC App signals the end of near-total U.S. dominance in the fighter market, forcing Washington to compete with its own allies for the first time in decades and potentially shifting the dynamics of future defense partnerships. This could spark a more dynamic, innovative global market for advanced aircraft, but it also means the U.S. will have less control over the technology its allies use and develop. The Pentagon will be watching closely, knowing that GCAP's outcome could shape not only future defense strategies, but also the very nature of international military cooperation. The stakes are high, technical, political, and financial. Every decision made now will echo for years, affecting alliances and the global defense landscape. But the commitment is real. These nations are building more than a jet. They're forging a new alliance, challenging the status quo and setting a precedent for future collaboration. If GSCAP succeeds, it will usher in a new era of air power, global competition, and international cooperation, one that could redefine the future of military aviation.